If we want to expand, expand right here. And on the other side that I need to remove. Are quite tricky how to put them in. So I ran my, uh, my wires between the frame and the fender. satisfying job i mean it looked scary today is the day when i start the project start the uh rear end conversion advan black dominator kit dominator fender it's all here i'm gonna roll the bike out uh get some footage before and i always like to do before and after so i'm gonna put it over there and uh roll it back in because it's too cold to work outside so let me do that so I cleaned up a little bit of the mess over here. I'm going to make the best of it. I'm going to try to work inside the garage. I got these light, bright lights from John. Let's turn them on. Oh, it's pretty nice. Very nice. I'm going to jack it up so we have it on a center stand. The bike is uh, slightly raised, so it's uh, centered positions on a center stand. Now let's take the bags off. Yeah, buddy. Come here and inspect what I'm doing. Yeah, it's a motorcycle. Backrest, seat, rack, all coming off. I also have uh, my adjustable uh, backrest mount, so I need to take this off as well. I freed up all my cable wiring, uh, so I'm able to later on connect my new, new uh, harnesses. By the way, everything that you see over here, I actually uh, learned and saw on Adam Black's official uh, channel, so they have a group very detailed of the whole process. So I pretty much learned it from them and I'm showing you, you know, whatever I see on my side. So watch this video, watch their video. You get a very good uh, detailed uh, description of how to do this install. So just uh, untangled up. There's the wires that I see that they later on talk about. Uh, we'll figure that out later. But for now, I'm going to just unbolt or uh, take off uh, my uh, backrest mount right there. Okay, now I have uh, these filler panels. At the, at the time when I got the bike, I, I installed them. So see these one and two bolts, take, uh, uh, untighten them, loosen them up and just take these filler panels out. Now the next step, we're actually gonna uh, loosen up all the bolts holding the fender and uh, two other bolts that hold the frame because we want to expand, expand this whole this whole area. So it's easier the minute we get this to the right. I mean, this to the right, this to the left. We expand that area, and it's gonna be easier to pull the fender out. So these are the bolts that we need we need to remove right here behind behind the bag the bag uh, connecting uh nut over here just behind that we actually need to remove this there's a torx 40 bolt the second one is right not here guys not here it's right in here so one and two those are the two that hold the fender the actual piece of fender on that side and the two on the other side. The bolts that I'm gonna show you now are the bolts that uh, tighten the frame together, and those we also wanna uh, loosen up so it's easier to remove the fender. It's one bolt right here, 
take a look. It's between these two, okay? So it's this one and the one on the other side. And two more. Right, one is here. And the other one is here. So I'm gonna uh, loosen them up and take them out and then uh, we'll take it from there. Did you see the, the fender just, just, just came down. It's now sitting, sitting on the, uh, on the tire, on the wheel itself. This is somewhat in the way. There's also a nut right here. And on the other side that I need to remove. Take this cover off as well. This one actually I need to be need to save. It's gonna be used in the new fender. On this side, there's the shock that's in the way, so you can't see the bolt. So I got access from the top from here. Can you see? From here, I put in uh right through here and just to break it loose, and from there on it's just uh Release it by hand. Now let me disconnect this wire, which is right here. That goes to the whole back backlight assembly. Once I disconnect that, I can uh, just take the fender out. Now it's all ready to be removed, so let's do it. One side is out. Now the other side. And it's out. That's it. It's out. Holy shift is out. Now we obviously need to take uh, this bracket, we're going to be using this bracket. So untighten this and we're going to install it on the new fender. So how cool does the bike look now? Blackbird looks like, <laughs> that's funny. Okay. Now the fun stuff. Let's look for the, let's look for the, the box with the fender. Found it. Oh, you found the box. Let's work on it. One side is longer than the other. I guess this goes to the other side. All the zip ties.
Oh, this is the this is the Chrome license plate. Chrome, metal chrome, and it's got LEDs over here. So it's a lit license plate. Very cool. Okay, I just got off the phone with uh, Advan Black. I needed uh, some help with their uh, technical support and they answered very fast, very helpful. And this is an important part of the install and I want you to listen because there's no video out there that, this, that uh, has a description how to do what I just uh, came across. The fender, in my case, I'm not sure if they send it out usually with, uh, with the LEDs installed or not. In my case, it came without these parts installed. Now, these are, are quite tricky how to put them in. So I'll show you what you pretty much need to do uh, f uh, to install them. There are these plastic, not plastic, but these mounts. One and two. You would think that these mounts connect right here, right? Makes sense. No, but they don't. You have to have actually, and they have they have it included in their kit, a little bag with a few 90 degrees or L-shaped metal brackets with screws that connect uh, from one part, right here you can see I did this side already, from the top part, which is here, okay? Like that, right here, it connects this way with one screw and then it connects, or actually the other way, this way. And then it connects to the top. This part is right here. Now, when you put, when you, when you put this light fixture in, make sure you put this part right here, this part on the top, and this part on the bottom, and you slide it in. It does not pop all the way in, as I'll show you right now in my fender on the side that is already mounted. Here, take a look. You can see when you see from the side, it's not mounted all the way in. And from the, from the back, you can see that is slightly pushed out. But when you look at it from here, it's a perfect fit. So let me uh, pop the uh, other one in and try to see what I'm doing and try to do the same. There you go, that's it. That's how it goes in. And you see from the profile and from the side, it looks perfect. And here is where the brackets are gonna go. Let me show you. One bracket. Right there. You see this? Screw. Second screw here. Right there, and just work it in. Let me show you. Now I'll do it to the other side. The bottom, just to make sure, you wanna make sure that the plug connection, uh, connection is on the top. It's on the top, not on the bottom. That's how you know you located it properly. Let me do the other one. There you go. You see, ready to go. Easy peasy. Okay, since uh, this fender came naked and I'm, I'm gonna do all the wiring, I took the provided cable that has uh, three wires on it. Where it all comes together is the top and it runs on the right side of the fender the way it's uh, flipped over right now, which means it's left when the fender is properly 
uh, settled and uh, mounted on the bike. So right now it's on the right side. I put both of the two uh, longer cables uh, through this hole over here. This is obviously gonna go for that uh, turn signal. This one is gonna go for the other side through here. And you can actually have uh, to uh, mount it over here. They, they have these little uh, metal brackets to hold it in. And this is gonna go for the lit license plates. Oh, you see how I got it all set up? Ran the longer uh, wire here through the hole. Down here, this plate they provide these two screws, tucked it in. Another plate over here, ran it in right here. And the whole braid is going up. One goes to this turn signal and light. And this obviously is gonna go for uh, lighting up the license plate bracket. I'm gonna... So before I even assemble the license plate bracket, gotta make uh, sure to have this little bolt with the washer, a washer on the bottom, and that actually uh, connects to there. Uh, do that before you actually do the license plate, otherwise you'll have no access to it. So. Okay, got the bracket ready. One washer on the top, one washer on the bottom there. It's not tight yet because it's got a little bit of play. We'll tighten it later on. And at this stage, we keep the license uh, bracket, license plate bracket off. Now we need to put those four uh, mounting nuts that we had previously from the other bike, like from the other front. These guys. Now look, at this, look at these mounts that we just took off the previous uh, fender. It was a, a thick washer. With this fender, you put in the provided thinner washer. One side of the bolt goes, uh, this, this mount, let me show you. This mount goes, one hand again. This side, you see there's this uh, little uh, square over here. It goes in here, it goes in here, or over here, I'll show you on this case right here. It goes in here, no washer until you feel it locking. You see how it's, it's locking? Then you take the thin washer that they provided. Thin washer and the bolt. One, two, three, and I'll do four. Doesn't need to be on too tight. And now we are ready for the mounting. Mount this into here by, again, spreading spreading them legs of the frame and sliding it in carefully. Okay, we're there, we're almost there. It's a lot of finagling and uh, stretching, stretching the frame, getting one bolt in, then the other. The whole time you want to make sure that this doesn't touch the floor. Put a, like a, a rag or your foot so if it falls, it doesn't get scratched. And work your way slowly, left, right, left, right, till you get it in. Now we want to put the bolts uh, that hold and then we'll be able to run. You see how I ran the cables right here, the wires? Later on, we'll figure out how to run them along the frame, between the frame and the fender, all the way to the, to the front. Oh, you know what I just realized? I need to also put uh, my uh, bracket for my uh, backrest. So I'm gonna do that right now. Got it done, it wasn't that complicated. Took it out of my old fender and ran it. Uh, it's, a, it's a plate that I just put under here. These two plastic 
washers are holding it in place. Now let's put these one, two, and two on the other side bolts back in to hold the fender in place. Got it in. I got it in first try. That's lucky. Let's do this side. Look. I can't believe it. I got it in. I got it in first try. I'm very lucky or very skilled. That's the last one is right here. Yeah, all four. First shot. Boy, I'm lucky. Let's, let's tighten them down. Remember, I also have to get the, the bolts that go into the frame and on the bottom as well, this one. Let me tighten this first, first. Now the frame bolts, this one, this one, the one on the other side, that one, I'll show you very soon. And obviously this guy. Okay, got it back in place. All bolts, frame and fender are mounted. Now we're gonna run the cables, the wires along, along the frame, zip tie them, go in here and come here through on the bottom. No, actually I'm not sure where, where we come up to meet this clip. Let me figure it out. So I ran my uh, my wires between the frame and the fender and I zip tied them. And then I went underneath on the bottom and came out on the top, made sure that uh, the wires are not touching uh, the tire and wheels not touching when it bounces up and down, doesn't touch the cables. And I went over here and now I'm gonna connect, connect to the braid. Let me connect uh, my uh, backrest first. Finished with the backrest. Now let me plug this in the where exactly where it came out, uh, out of the other the other fender right there. And then we'll run uh, the license plate bracket. And we'll test it out. So I cut my uh, license plate a little bit and I'm gonna bend the tips. You see over here, I bent it already. I'm gonna do it on the left side and the right side. So when the wire touches it with vibrations, it doesn't rip and cut. See, I went a little bit too, too much, but I prefer for it to be, uh, you know, further out, not touching. Better safe. Very difficult to access. Let me go with the, go the lower ones first, actually. Got the lower one threaded in. Start with the lower ones, position it, and then uh, work your way up to the top. Once they're in place and they're not moving, it's easier. You got two hands now. See, I think I got the two lower, 
lower ones in first. By the way, the way I did it is totally wrong. You should always put uh, a rag, even tape this whole thing up because if this falls, it's gonna scratch your whole fender and the whole work that you've done is just messed up just because being lazy like I am right now. So make sure to take a piece of paper, piece of cloth, whatever, tape this whole area so you don't, you don't mess up. If this slips and slides, it's gonna scratch the fender. Don't do that, don't do that. But now I got the, the lower ones on top, they're, they're held in place. Now I'm gonna try to work the top ones. Got got one. I'm telling you the the hardest part of this job is only getting this little little nut in. Yay! I got, got it in. <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> what a what what a difficult task. For such a small bolt, I'm telling you. Okay, I connected the plug. The plug over here that goes to the backup camera, <laughs> backup camera, to the license plate light. Side panels coming on. Don't forget these guys over here. One here and one on the other side. Put the seat back on. Bags. Let's take it out. Three hours. Three and a half hours later, the job took me about three and a half hours. It was not complicated at all. Just a little bit uh, at the end with uh, getting the license plate bolt. Uh, it was tricky over there. A lot of patience did it. Let me show you now what it looks like after. That said, remember, the bags are still the standard. I need to replace them uh, to the stretch bags. So let's do a walk around. I'm polishing it up, polishing it up a little bit. Actually, let me show you. Yeah, let me walk around then show you the functionality. Lighting. There we go. Right turn. Left turn. Brake light. Yeah, and my strobe, my Zero 3D strobe still works. Remember, I still have to have, the next video is gonna be uh, replacing these stock bags to stretch bags. So look at the lid. Can you see how the license plate is lit? I'll show you also at night. I'll take it out at night and show you. Simple install. Uh, follow the videos you see online. Follow Advan Black's video, my video for a little bit more details. I do show how to get uh, those uh, LEDs fit into the fender itself and stay tuned for the next video in this Advan Black rear end conversion series. I'm going to do next video is going to be uh, setting up the stretched bags on Blackbird, my 2020 electric light standard. Really cool. So that's it for now, guy. I hope you enjoy this and uh, put the bike back in. I want to say that it was it was a satisfying job. I mean, it looked scary a little bit in the beginning because all these huge boxes and all these huge pieces, but it's very, it was actually very easy. The videos online are very helpful. Hope my videos also help you if you decide to do this. My phone just died on me. I just packed up uh, everything, got organized, cleaned up. That was fun. It was fun. It was a fun install. 
I'd like to thank Alan from Advan Black for you know helping me out with uh, this Dominator rear end conversion. Thank you so much to Advan Black. Um, stay tuned for the next video. And oh, by the way, if somebody wants my old Fender, uh, just hit me up uh, in the comments or just go to my website and send me an email. You've seen, you know my, uh, you know my uh, Fender, so it's, uh, it's up for grabs. I mean, it's up for, for sale, whoever wants. I'm Sandy, watching Holy Shift till the next video, guys. Peace out.